morning traders and this is your Dow Jones daily review now we broke below this key level here but if you look at the daily that's a rejection of that level okay so on the lower time frames it may be looking as a, um, a breakout but the higher time frames it's uh, clearly a rejection of this so what we're always looking for on key levels like this is a high time frame close below it okay so for me at this stage, what's happened yesterday, um, you know, there is a possibility that it has been seen as a breakout, but there's also a very strong possibility to be seen as a, a rejection. So there's no clear signal, in other words. If we look at the four hour, let me just send to that. If we look at the four hour, you'll see what I mean. Um, we've got this little bit of a close below and then we opened immediately and closed back above it but it's not a, a concrete close okay it's almost um, like uh, from here to there it's almost like we are forming this consolidation triangle at the moment okay now we are in earning seasons and uh, there's not much that's coming out today i think uh, monday that is a massive amount of earnings that are going to be released so i suspect today is going to be more of the same um, for the last couple of days uh, just sort of ranging and um, monday is probably going to be the day where we're going to see some volatility kick in with uh, earnings coming out so there's a lot of negative uh, news around uh, recessions and trade wars and uh, the likes. So obviously what's happening is investors are now waiting to see whether um, the earnings support the data that's indicating there's a recession on the way. So if we start getting a slew of uh, bad earnings, you should see the markets fall off quite rapidly and uh, major levels are going to be not even toyed with. Okay, so just be very cautious of that. So for me, you know, I was long yesterday, got out of it, got back in long, um, didn't really pick up the shorts, which I should have done. But uh, anyway, uh, you can see what I mean by, by this at the moment. So if I adjust this to the one hour, so we did get a one hour close below, and we've got a rejection yeah and then a rally but the way that the oscillator is at the moment this is turbulent waters at the moment as i said yesterday you know we're going to have to get some proper breaks above these fractals to the upside to to anticipate a move up and we have to get proper breaks and closes below here so and this is another reason why you know a lot of trading strategies breakout strategies that trade okay we've got the breakout but we want to see a deeper breakout and we want to see a retest. At the retest, that's my confirmation, then I get in for the short. Okay, so in other words, the breakout should have run a little bit further, come back and just bounced around here. That would have been the area to get in short. But the fact that we're just hovering around the 200 EMA on the hour inside and outside the alligator, I'm not even going to bother with this market today. We'll wait for Monday. Uh, see what those earnings bring and see what that does. Uh, if we just uh, go across to the Ichimoku, uh, you'll see nothing really concrete on the hour. Okay, we're flirting in and out, Kijinson, Tikinson, and Chikuspan. And we're just flirting with the cloud. Okay, but the important thing to remember is that we are still below the cloud, and the cloud is angling to the downside. So technically, we are still moving down so on the one hour that is if we move it up to the four hour we had a bearish cross chicken span has come through price we've had a crossover so we've had three signals that um, the short is on so this is a pretty worrying scenario if i look at it like this because this to me means i should be looking for shorts but the buyers are stepping in they're trying to defend this level uh, but um, looking at the four hour, this is definitely looking short. Uh, just try to find the other example we had here. Here we go. So 
the cloud was a lot thinner in this scenario, so you can see how we stayed below the cloud here. And the longer we stayed below the cloud, the better. But Kijun and Tigers were pretty close together, which gave you confidence that it was moving down. If you look at what we have now, um, they're coming close together, but they've been flat for quite a period of time, and we are inside the cloud. And when you're inside the cloud, that is um, still in an upward trend. Okay, and that's on the four hour. On the daily, we flat Kijun, flat Tigers, and uh, ticker span is above, so trend is still up. Um, oscillator is moving to an area where indicating buyers are coming in. So, you know, rather a, a mixed bag of, um, of signals coming out of the Ichimoku. And if you look at the half hour, you can see a uh, break below, a retest of the cloud. You know, you run down and all of a sudden run back up the upside. A lot of indecision and then motor off down and then back up above the cloud. So there's nothing really to read into any of these uh, environments yet, except range. That's all that we are doing. We are ranging. The other thing that to take to mind on the 30 minute is this 200 EMA that keeps getting rejected. Okay. So there's a first rejection. Here's a second rejection. That's quite a big rejection. Okay, so I say I didn't take the short. This was, you know, this bar here was a proper rejection bar. And then another rejection bar. I mean, there was immediately go down to lower time frames and look for your short entry. Um, and if you look at the six minutes here, here you'll see that 30 minute was a rejection off the bottom, a rejection off the top. Okay, and you can see the trap here because the bulls. That would have been trading a low time frames, would have seen these and said long. They would have had stops tr pretty much right below this fractal level here. And that's what this was here, was all the stops been triggered. And then we just settled into a rhythm and then started climbing again. Anyway, so for me, I think um, I'm going to take an early weekend on this one, just leave it alone. It's uh, a little bit too volatile at the moment, and we're really not getting anywhere. We're just treading water, and uh, I suspect uh, the, the big worry is earnings. So if earnings are going to come out bad, we're just going to support recession and support the, the impact of the trade war and everything else, um, and the slowdown in job growth, and there's a whole lot of data points that are pointing to a slowdown in, the, in global economies. So that's exactly what traders are waiting for right now. They're waiting for their confirmation. The confirmation is going to be the earnings. Okay. So in other words, expect this to to muck around in this uh, range and this breakout that we've had of the significant level until we get at least a four-hour decent close below it. I don't consider it t broken yet. I consider it being rejected right now. Okay. So anyway, guys, that's it for me today. I hope that helps, and I'll catch you later. Cheers for now.